We'll start by installing dependencies and configuring our store. We need to add two libraries, rematch core and react redux. Since rematch is built on top of redux, we can use react redux bindings library to hook rematch into react application, just as we would in a normal redux application. Also, since we're using TypeScript, we need to add types for React Redux package. Now that we're done installing libraries, let's configure the store. The store is a JavaScript object that is going to hold all of our global application states. In the application that we're building, our global state will hold two pieces of data an array of users, and an array of toast notifications. In rematch, each piece of state is controlled by a model. We'll explore models more in the next section. So let's continue. To keep things nicely organized, we're going to create a new store folder. Later, we're going to put all of our models there, but for now, we just need to create an index.ts file for the store configuration. To configure the store, First, we need to import init method from rematch core package. Then we'll create a new store variable by calling that's init method. Init method accepts a configuration object with quite a few properties, but the only one we need now is called models. We need to pass it an object that combines all the models in our application. We don't have any models yet, so we're just going to create an empty models object and pass it in here. Finally, we need to export our store variable. Lastly, we need to inject our store into the application components tree. To do that, we're going to open app.tsx file and we need to import provider components from React Redux package. We also going to need to import the store that we've just configured. Now we just need to add provider component to the top level of our applications component tree and pass it a store property. Now let's launch the application by calling yarn start and see if everything is working properly. We can verify that our store is configured correctly by opening Redux DevTools. And here we can see that internal Redux's init action has been dispatched. And if we explore the raw view of our global application state, we're going to see an empty object. And this is it for this part. In the next one, we're going to create our first model and display a list of users.